Hello everyone, and today uh, we're going to be playing the Third Crusade mod, uh, which is a sub-mod for Chivalry Total War that was recently released. Now, uh, I actually had planned on doing a Europa Barbarorum 1 Let's Play, but unfortunately the audio didn't work and I lost the first episode, so uh, I'm upset. So we're going to do some Third Crusade action here. So, uh, in this, uh, this mod is essentially another high era type campaign for uh, Chivalry Total War. Of course, there is another high era mod for Chivalry that was called Fall of the Cross, Rise of the Crescent, which starts a little bit later. I think it was 1201 or so. That was the start date. So this uh, sub-mod begins in 1190, and it it does a, f a little bit it does it a little bit differently. So instead of just adding uh, scripts and the Teutonic Knights and things like that, uh, this sub mod adds a few new factions. So you have the the Mongols on the map. You've got uh, the Georgians uh, replacing the Armenian Kingdom. You've got the Bulgarians replacing uh, Bohemia. And you have um, one more. Oh, I forget. I forgot the other one. I think it might be the, the Kipchaks. But in any case, uh, Bulgarians and Georgians and Mongols, those are the big ones. So no Bohemia, no Armenia in this one. So let's uh, do a campaign as the Georgians. Or actually... As the Bul Bulgarians. I promised to do one as the Bulgarians. Um, and I have not had a chance to do one as Georgia yet. I'll, I'll find a time to do one as Georgia. So in any case, here's our Bulgarian campaign for the Third Crusade mod for Rome Total War. So we're going to go on a crusade in Rome Total War. Okay. So we've loaded in here. And uh, Bulgaria starts out with three nice provinces. You have Sofia... Tarnovo and uh, Craiova. And of course, Tarnovo is the Bulgarian capital in this period. Sofia seems to be upset with us because it's not the capital, so we're going to have to lower our taxes. Now, I think we should uh, work on improving our economy because it doesn't look so great at the moment. Yeah, we have a bit of a, a bit of a deficit here. So I suppose what we should do is we should go for the uh, silver, some silver and gold mines, because those look like they're going to improve the economy quite a bit. But actually those cost 4000 and that's my entire budget. So perhaps it might be good to uh, build land ownership in my provinces and uh, get the tax income bonus and perhaps conquer a neighboring province here. So let's go for the land ownership. That's what I'm going to do here. Now, Bulgaria, uh, how many troops do we have? Let's see. So we've got some Cuman horse archers. We've got Kronoya cavalry. We've got swordsmen. We've got spearmen. And we are against the Byzantine faction heir here, Isaac Angelos. So I think I'll add some more forces. Oh, Tarnovo's not happy now. Do I have any more troops to add here? I have some Vlach tribesmen. Yeah, I'll add them to the army of the Tsar of Bulgaria, Petr. And let's go after the Byzantines here. Okay, so let's start our deployment. Let's take a look at these Bulgarian units. So here we've got the Tsar's bodyguards. Looking good. Pretty good for original Rome Total War units. We've got some Bulgarian swordsmen here. We've got Cuman horse archers. Looking a bit funky. 
I'm not sure how effective those helmets are going to be. Perhaps that's a small texture issue. We've got the Bulgarian sort of medium cavalry here. And we've got our uh, Bulgarian spearmen ready to fight. So let's uh, start this battle. Let's get our horse archers up and into position here. Seems like the Byzantines have a bit of a better position than we do. But hopefully we will be able to handle them here. It's really good to hear this uh, Medieval 1 music here. Okay. So are the Byzantines coming against us? Let's move our infantry forward to engage them. Okay, so the Byzantine horse are... The Byzantines have horse archers, too. The Hippotoxotai. Oh, I have to change my camera settings here. I want the free camera. Oh, I can't change that. Oh, well. It's okay. I'll just have to deal with the restricted camera. Okay, Cuman horse archers move to that left flank. Okay, so our horse archers seem to have engaged with theirs. And I think we're doing pretty well against the Byzantine horse archers. Yeah, 65 units there. Okay, so the enemy line... Oh, they're moving their Varangians against us. Not sure what the uh, Varangians are planning here. Did the enemy cavalry try to flank here? Okay, horse archers, uh, pincer those horsemen. Okay, so the Byzantines are moving against us with some light swordsmen. And they have some Skuta toy here. So let's engage them and pin them down. And try to flank with our swordsmen and other troops. Okay, the, the Byzantine horsemen seem to be going down. Yeah, they are down. So these horsemen will move and hit the Trapezitai, Byzantine light cavalry from the flank.
Okay, so how is our Tsar doing? He's having a little bit of trouble here. So let's pull him back from the Varangians. We'll have our swordsman charge at the Varangian guard here. Okay, now a better charge. And are these Varangians going down? Yeah, it seems like they are. But I think we have to pull back the Tsar because he's uh, running out of bodyguards. Yeah, our swordsmen are doing pretty well. And our horse archers are also doing very well. So that's very nice. But the Byzantine general is trying to get away here. Okay, and our swordsmen were able to rout the Varangian guard. Okay, these Byzantine Skutatoi have routed. Very good. So we'll have our swordsmen move around the flank and hit the Skutatoi from the flank. Because they don't want to go down, it seems like. I can use my uh, medium cavalry to flank the Skutatoi here. And I think they won't be putting up too much of a resistance. But there is this lone unit of Kontaratoi here. I think it seems like they're withdrawing. Okay, so we'll have the medium cavalry charge at the flank of the Skutatoi, and they should rout. Okay, they are routing. Very nice indeed. So we'll have these Bulgarian spearmen try to hit these guys. Okay, let's try to flank these with everyone we've got. Perhaps they'll just rout, which would be quite nice, but we have basically crushed the Byzantine forces here. Are they gonna rout? They are routing, very nice.
All right, so now uh, the Byzantine Imperial Army in Bulgaria has been destroyed. So now perhaps we can uh, sweep down upon uh, Byzantine Thrace here. Yeah, Adrianople seems to be wide open. Okay, so we are constructing land ownership everywhere. Should I purchase another building as well? Perhaps a toll road? Perhaps I should do that. A toll road in Tarnovo. So let's end the turn here. Now let's go besiege, Ad besiege Adrianople. You only have a couple of units in there. And the Tsar got a lot more bodyguard units, which is very nice. So let's uh, end the turn right here. Okay. Very good. So we got the la that land ownership done. So now our financial situation is still not great. But I'll pump up my tax rate a little bit. Now I think we can assault uh, Adrianople. So let's do that. Okay. So here we have our Byzantine city. I guess we don't need that other ram. We have a ladder. And we can drop that ram too. Not that important. Alright, so let's uh, climb the walls here. And let's hit the gate with that ram. And the left with our Vlack tribesmen. Of course, chivalry has a slightly retextured ram here. Our flax are getting up there quite nicely. Move quickly, everyone. Oh, seems like we took the gate. So let's just go in there. All right, so the enemy troops are just hanging out by the uh, square. So what I'll do is I'll uh, flank them with everything I've got. So I'll move these spearmen in and I'll flank from the left.
and I'll have these Vlax and my other Spearmen uh, flank from the other side. I really hate this restricted camera. I don't know why anyone would turn it on. I know, for pure realism purposes, probably. Okay, so our Bulgarians are moving in there. <clears throat> so they have Rip Riptaristai. Of course, <clears throat> that comes from the term a Riptar from the show Rugrats. That was a joke. Okay. These guys are just a javelinman, so I'll have the Tsar try and hit him hard there. Okay, and our heavy cavalry is really doing a number on those javelinmen. So we'll pull him back there. Our Vlax can move in and finish off those javelinmen now. And their captain is down. All right, and Bulgarian spearmen move to engage the Byzantines, and then we'll charge them from the flank. Let's move to a good position, triple the speed. Let's deal with the uh, Rome 1 original pathfinding. My king will not die here, I swear. Lax, will you come help? Bulgarian Spearman, what are you doing? Oh, why? Lax, just come on. Okay, these hoplites should go down soon. Okay, forget your formation. They don't have a formation. Oh boy. Okay, they're going down. It's not a problem. And there you have it. We've taken Adrianople. No garrison script. Like in Chivalry 2. So let's uh, sack it. Sophia grows. Very nice. Okay, so now we should have a pretty nice... Uh, okay. We're making a bit of a profit now, so that's good. And Constantinople is wide open for attack. So I'll take some of these troops. And uh, besiege Constantinople. 
Can we lower the tax rate here? Not enough. Okay. So how about the Vlax? You stay there. 60%, that helps. How about... Some horse archers, you stay there. 70%, okay, that's the minimum. Oh, there's another Byzantine army. All right, time for another fight. Okay. So we've got a couple of infantry units. Horse archers we'll put in the front. Medium cavalry on the left. Heavy cavalry on the right. Let's move in. Where are the Byzantines? They're up there. So we'll set up our troops more favorable terrain. Okay, seems like the Byzantines are going to just let me move into the more favorable position. Which is nice of them. Okay, now Cumon Horse Archers. I want one of you to move to the right. And one of you to the left. So they have some Trapezantine Archers. Which is a unit I don't want them to utilize very effectively here. Okay, so infantry, I want you to move in closer. So they've got some Byzantine cavalry setting up up there. Some hoplite infantry. So these are not the same as hoplites from, you know, the Hellenistic period and earlier. These are Byzantine hoplites, which are a bit different. Perhaps we can lure their general into a bad position here. You know what? I'll have the Tsar charge against that general if he wants to move into such a bad position. And you know what? Horse archers charge in. Because horse archers in chivalry are actually pretty effective in melee. So I'll charge them in. They'll hold uh, the enemy cavalry there. And I'll charge them with my medium cap. And the Tsar is charging in at the Byzantine general. Very nice. Okay, infantry, where are you? Infantry. Okay, the Tsar is doing quite well against the Byzantine general's forces. And yeah, the Byzantine medium cavalry is not doing very well here. They are flanked. Ah, horse archers, I let him get 
bogged down against these uh, trapezantine archers. Forgot about them. Huh, these trapezantine archers are actually decent in melee. Okay, we got the enemy general. So now our general can come assist the horse archers against the trapezantines. Don't get distracted, don't get distracted. Very nice. Okay, get our medium cavalry out of there. Leo Focas has fallen. Our Cumans are doing pretty well against the Byzantines here. Missiles do seem to be a bit more effective in this submod than they are in standard chivalry. Okay, so let's... No, 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 no. Wow. Oops. I forgot I had my general charging. Well, he routed those guys. I think they've completely lost their morale here. Okay, rally the troops. Now let's charge from all sides. They should rout. They have routed. Very good. Flanking infantry is very effective in uh, chivalry. That's for sure. So we've gotten about 100% of their forces here. Yep. So now Constantinople is wide open for the taking. Okay, let's maintain the siege. He's a great battle victor, the Tsar Peter. So let's uh, end the turn here. Ah, Sophia is under siege. By some independent forces. That's not good. I don't have enough troops to defend it. So what I should do is I'll uh, get these guys here, perhaps some of these black tribesmen, and perhaps combined we can do something against these troops. Okay, so they have hoplites, javelinmen. I think we can handle it. Ah, that's right, I just remembered. Uh, the Zirids are not in this submod. That's another faction that is no longer here. So Bohemia, uh, Armenia, and the Zirids. Okay, so let's move our guys in here quickly.
Okay, so they're moving their missile troops in closer, so I'll move my guys back a bit. Of course, I don't have any missile troops. I'm hoping the Byzantine, or these are not Byzantines, I'm hoping these uh, independent Slavoni forces Okay, I hope they move. Uh, this is what I was hoping they would do. They would move their javelinmen forward so I can engage them in melee, and then I'll uh, take on the hoplites when I can really uh, flank them here. Okay, other noblemen move against these uh, Psiloi. Psiloi uh, javelinmen, I believe. No, they're archers. Seems like these guys are being a little smarter. Eh, uh, maybe not. You know what? Uh, he's in a bit of trouble there. Move against these other javelin men quickly. Archers. Start firing, please. Okay, do some damage to these hoplites. Okay, our Vlax will engage with the Hoplites here. And we'll try to charge from the flank. See what we can do here. Okay, move this general back. Back, please, back, back, back. I was hoping I could catch those Siloi off their guard, but they're doing pretty well. Can we rout these Hoplites? It's not looking good. These guys are not effective commanders like uh, the Tsar is. Okay, so now the Psiloi are moving away from those hoplites. Okay, let's charge against the hoplites one more time. See how much damage we can do. Okay, we got him. We got him. The Psiloi are done as well. So Vlax, you try to engage with these hoplites. Archers, you weaken these hoplites as well. And I'll try to get a good charge off from the flank. Okay. Everyone charge together. I don't want to see any generals die here. We got them. We got them. Not even a bit of a problem. Very good, got those hoplites. Get these psiloi. <coughs> Excuse me. And the Ruptari Stein.
Very nice. Can we catch those guys? I don't think we can. No, we can't. Okay. So we were able to lift the Siege of Sophia by the uh, independent forces. So that was actually quite nice. Well done. We'll build up some forces and take out these uh, independent provinces to the west here in Epirus and around there. Okay. I want to wait until I have more siege equipment. So let's uh, end the turn here. Okay, seems like the Byzantines are sallying out. And it seems like they have very experienced cavalry. We'll have to do our best. Okay. Drop the siege equipment. We just have to do our best here. Humans. Move forward, shower them with arrows. Medium cavalry, you go on the left. General's bodyguard on the right. They're going to come out, right? What is this unit? It's a Varangian guard. Okay, General. Charge the Varangians from both sides. And it seems like the Emperor is going to come from the right side. So let's move our spearmen there to uh, engage him. Okay, Cuman horse archers. Move to engage the Emperor. Yeah, the Varangian guards stand no chance despite their brave sally. Okay, where's the Emperor here? He is coming. Okay, Spearman. Move to attack him. You guys are going to skirmish, right? Okay. Our horse archers will skirmish with them. For a while, we took out one of the cavalry. So that's at least uh, kind of nice. Okay, Cumans. Move behind our spearmen, please. No, you're not going to catch the spearmen, or the cavalry. Use your Parthian shot, guys. Okay, Tsar's bodyguards. Wait, spearmen. Why aren't you using your spears? Oh boy. Okay, our spearmen were actually able to take out quite a few of their cavalry there. Tsar, charge in from the flank.
Medium cavalry, you guys move into position as well. All right, the Tsar is going to charge in here, and this is going to be very effective. Spears down, lances down. Uh, you guys get in on the fun, too. Yep, the Emperor and his guards stand no chance. Is this the Emperor? There he is. Fighting with his golden mace. And his uh, Urartian style helmet. There we go, we got him. And this battle is over. Constantinople is ours. Okay. So I guess... Constantinople is in a... Really upset. I don't like exterminating, so I'm just going to, uh... Enslave the populace. And I'll accept this guy as a general. So lower the tax rate, increase the jousts, and boom, Constantinople is ours. And now we have a nice profit here. Very nice churches. We have the Hagia Sophia. Okay, so. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. So now that we have Constantinople, I think that's a good place to end this episode of the Third Crusade mod for the original Rome Total War sub-mod for Chivalry Total War Tsardom of Bulgaria campaign. So, it's been fun. If you enjoy videos about the historical Total Wars and their mods, consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.